What's good folks, Rudd's here. Today's soap review will feature Sterling Soap Co. Satsuma. Uh, many of you know Sterling Soap Co. It's a uh, veteran-owned artisan soap shop. Uh, established January 2012. Mandy and Rob are uh, great people in this community. They push out a lot of uh, high quality product at a very affordable price. They're probably the uh, best price to performance ratio in terms of uh, shaving soap in their business currently. Um, they have a huge selection of scents. Um, it's almost mind numbing trying to go through and see what you uh, want to buy there for the first time. Um, but they offer a wide variety from uh, natural scents to uh, cologne dupes and anything else in between. Uh, they can be ordered direct from their website. They can also be found at maggardrazors.com, westcoastshaving.com, as well as top of the chain for our friends in Canada. So, Satsuma is a citrus forward scent um, with some spice in the background. Um, it's a f quite simple accord featuring notes of mandarin and spices. Um, the mandarin scent is a very natural smelling mandarin, uh, not synthetic at all to my palate or nose, if you will. Um, and the spices, as I mentioned, are quite subtle. Um, so this is mostly a citrus-based scent. If you're into those, I think you're really going to enjoy this offering. Um, I would consider this a casual wear, um, simply because I don't really feel like I'd want to walk around work or at a uh, date smelling like oranges, mandarin oranges, if you will. Um, it's not cloyingly sweet or anything, but um, I just feel like there's there's not a room there's not room for this outside of a casual use. Um, I do consider it though, however, multi seasonal because of the uh, diversity of the uh, mandarin. It's perfect when it's cold out. It will, you know it's bright and remind you of the warmth, and obviously in the warmth it's bright and refreshing to. Uh, to use so it's definitely multi-seasonal in my opinion scent strength on this is strong both off of the uh, container and it remains strong as you lather and shave with this um, and for similar scents available in wet shaving I'd suggest you check out either 11 shaving sweet orange or maggard razors orange menthol So if you're new to the channel and you've not seen one of my uh, many Sterling Soap Co. reviews, um, this is a tallow-based soap. The soap is of uh, mid-firmness on the firmness spectrum. Um, loads very easily into your brush fiber of choice, be it a uh, badger bore or synthetic brush fiber. The soap itself is uh, quite thirsty, uh, demands quite a bit of water to... Uh, really hydrate it and dial it in, uh, but you're rewarded with um, that effort with a uh, very dense lather um, with mid-volume that will resemble the consistency of Greek yogurt. I find the uh, slickness on Sterling Soap Co's soap base to be excellent in both the uh, primary aspect as well as the residual aspect of slickness. Residual slickness is the uh, lather that's left behind that you might not see, but you can uh, buff with uh, once the visible lather's been removed. I find the post shave to be very good. Um, you can forego an aftershave product when using this uh, soap base. Um, they do make wonderful aftershaves, so it's not very often that I would forego using one, but I certainly could. Given my experience with Sterling Soap Co's soap base, as well as the uh, metrics just discussed, the shave score for this soap base comes in at an 86, and, excuse me, an 88. And uh, 88 will put it in a class with soap bases such as Bufflehead Soap Co, as well as Storybook Soap Works. 
zero drama dome shave uh, this evening with the Sterling Soapco Setsuma. Really like this scent, um, and I truly like Sterling Soapco as a uh, artisan. Great offerings, great pricing, and even better people. So I urge you to check them out if you're uh, in the market for some new soap and uh, can't decide what to get. I think they have something for everyone, and uh, I'm sure they'd be happy to uh, support you. As always, thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it. Comment below if you have anything to say. And if you're not already a subscriber, please become one. See ya.